Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title below, I am so excited to do a fantasy wax haul for you guys. Now, I know I've hauled a few things, or reviewed a few things on Warm from Fantasy Wax, but I never placed my own order. My really good friend Andrea sent me a few of her favorites to give a shot, and I love this shop, you guys. Let me tell you, it is definitely part of the planner community, which I'm not a planner, full disclosure, like, never will be. Definitely, like, not a thing that I think I would enjoy, but it is really important to people. They really like it, but I just, I can't plan out my life. I do want to start a fitness journal. I thought that would be pretty fun, so I am going to get a planner and see how that works, like journaling versus planning, but anyway, Kirsten started Fantasy Wax actually two years ago as I'm filming this. She's opening up for a pre-order this weekend, which this is also why I'm uploading this video today because I wanted to share some things and then give you a little bit of info because Kirsten gave me a coupon code. Drew10 will get you guys 10% off anything you want to order now for the pre-order in the future, whenever. Now, this is not sponsored. I paid for all of this wax with my own money and I really, really like it. It's really, really strong. The shop is beautiful. It's Etsy, which I don't love Etsy, but it's what works for Kirsten right now. And I just find, personally, her wax is great. There's not crazy blends. Like, you won't find, like, pumpkin pecan waffles, Palo Santo, strawberry pound cake, serendipity. But you will find more simple and complex blends. I mean, there are some blends, and they're beautiful. Let me tell you. And the things I've melted are awesome. Now, these scent shots I've talked about before. They're pricey. They're $4.45 for one cent shot, which people are not really willing to pay. I hope my 10% off coupon code will help you. I do not benefit from that, just so you know, but it's nice that I can go back and see who's placing orders with my coupon code so I can keep making content for you guys. But I put half of a cent shot in my warmer in my bedroom 24-7, two days at least sometimes three, just depending on the blend. So I really get great performance from her wax. Again, that's gonna be subjective, but I really get amazing performance. So I placed two separate orders. I ordered some from the just other collections, and that's something else that she does. I know I'm like rambling on right now, but she does collections, and she films a video introducing the collection either the night before or the day of that they launch, and they're different themes. So her latest collection is the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, which I am going to film, I'm going to talk about first after the samples, and then I'll move on to things that I purchased that are still on the site, as well as some overstock grab bags. Now, her overstock grab bags are $10, and you get approximately four scent shots. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get a shade. It all just depends. But you get four scent shots from previous collections. And since I'm new to Fantasy Wax, I was like, let me just throw two in my cart. So I ordered two of the grab bags in two orders, and I have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen scent shots for $20. Or for $40. $40? Yeah. Because I got four of them. So $40, 17 cent shots. That's a that's about $2 in cent shots. So not bad at all, in my opinion. Again, you'll save even more because of my 10% off code. But I keep rambling. I want to share what I got. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the samples, I did get five samples in between my two orders. The first one I got is Old Town Bake Shop, and I actually have two samples of this, and these are just pieces of her snack bars that she puts as your sample. And it's I love Old Town Bake Shop. It's cool, too, to see like what the oils smell like on their own. And it is just like that creamy, rich bakery blender scent. I think this will be nice when I burn a candle in my bedroom and just put this on in the warmest as like a background to blend and make it a little bit more creamy bakery. The next one I'm gonna talk about in actual scent shot form because I ordered it and it's Boyfriend Hoodie. I got kiwi and watermelon and this is exactly what it sounds like. Bright kiwi and juicy watermelon. It does lean more candy, but I mean, that's to be expected. And then Cafe Vienna, which is a creamy coffee scent. I actually really like this. It's a very robust creamed coffee, almost like a latte. It's really, really pretty. 
I'm just going through these really quickly because I have a lot of wax. And then cuppy cake. And it is a cupcake. Just like a vanilla buttercream cupcake. And these are awesome. And you'll notice, I'll actually show you right in here. So she does offer snap bars. And her snap bars either are like you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little cubes or five long cubes. I put about two in a warmer, so either way I break off one of these or two of these. They're exactly the same weight, same size, same price, etc. She'll do shapes, she'll do different things, and she does scent shots. But what's cool is her collections are like smaller, so she has seven in her Nightmare Before Christmas collection, and it's not like this is the scent and it's offered in everything. It's either offered in a scent shot, in a snap bar, or a shape from this collection. They all depend, but for the pre-order, you'll be able to order snap bars, her bunts, which I don't have any of her bunts, her chunk bags, which is what I'm personally going in for, and her loaves. And the reason why I'm going in for just chunk bags for most things is a loaf is 13 ounces and the, um, Chunk bags are 6.4, and so if I get two of those, it equals about a loaf, and I think it's only like $2 more or something like that. And for me, the convenience is so nice to just pop a little cube right in a warmer and call it a day. So anyway, let's start with the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Now, uh, not all of these are still available on the site now. However, the one that I love will be available in the pre-order, which opens by the time I film this and edit it and put it up, it's probably open. It opens Friday the 16th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. She is in Texas. So 3 p.m. Central, figure out your time zone. It's going to be open until the 22nd unless she reaches her turnaround time. There are 35 fragrances available in this pre-order, so she's not really sure if she will close it early or not. Anyway, the first scent in the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, I know I'm like, talking a mile a minute because I have so much wax to get through and I can't wait to share with you guys, is Zero. Now, what I also love about Kirsten is when she makes her videos, she talks about why she chose the color, why she chose the decoration, the scent, and the name that goes with it, which is really, really cool. You get to learn a little bit about the collection. And the videos are only about like five to 10 minutes, so really quick watches, but it really gets you hyped about the collections. So this is Zero. And if you're familiar with Nightmare Before Christmas, he is the doggy, who is a white dog with a little pumpkin nose. So she came up with this and the blend is mulled cider and leaves. So leaves, Bath and Body Works type, mixed with mulled cider, which is interesting to me because to me, leaves naturally smells like a cider. So blended together, it's a very deep, deep apple cider. Just the right amount of cinnamon, creamy, creamy cider, and apple. I really enjoy this one. It'll be great for fall. Next is Sandy Claus, and this guy is red with the snowflake glitter, super cute. And this is pumpkin gingerbread. So I'm honestly going to save this for Christmas, even though there's pumpkin, because for me, this smells like a very creamed gingerbread. And I love gingerbread, but even though I love gingerbread, I love it only in the winter. It's not a scent that, like, pumpkin pecan waffles, I can melt year-round. I enjoy gingerbread but I enjoy it in the winter. So this one is gonna get saved for Christmas. It's just like a super creamy gingerbread. Can't have a Nightmare Before Christmas collection without Jack Skellington. And this guy is gray with some holographic glitter and then a little Jack in the middle. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla B Noel, and SCR. Oh, SCR strawberry. SCR. Sugar Cookie Royale. I'm like, wait, what is it? Sugar Cookie Royale. So this guy's a little hard to pop out, but uh, her Sugar Cookie Royale, I will talk about in this, in the haul after this, same video about Sugar Cookie Royale and another scent she has. It is so buttery, mixed with a pumpkin pecan waffles and just a hint of vanilla B Noel. It is beautiful. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. And Sugar Cookie Royale is an oil I never really thought about ordering, but when it's in this collection, I'm like, okay, I'll try it. It's so pretty, and I know Andrea loves it too. It's just a very buttery, 
decadent take on pumpkin pecan waffles. Next, now this guy already sold out, sold out almost instantly from her collection, and it is Oogie Boogie, but it is available in the pre-order under Pistachio Pudding Cake Sweet Bakery Dough. Now, I love pistachio, and Oogie Boogie is that little green guy, so there is green glitter with some bats. Pop that guy out. So good. Pistachio can lean sometimes towards cherry or cherry almond, which I do not enjoy. This does not. It is a true pistachio pudding cake set. And I think the sweet bakery dough even makes it more bakery. I love pistachio. And I'm telling you, this is so strong. With what I've melted from her already, a half of this, probably no joke. I'll do this half, and I'll do the whole scent shot in my living room, but just two warmers, and it'll fill it up. No joke. Her wax is really strong, you guys. I promise. It's really good. Pop that guy on. Next is Sally, which is Ghoulberry, and Sally has some little eyes and some glitter, some red glitter, and little Frankensteins and stars. Now this, to me, leans a little chapstick berry, but it's definitely more artificial. I don't mind it. It's definitely more, it is really pretty, and I will melt it, but I don't think I would ever buy more of it. It's just... It's just a little bit too artificial berry for me, but to each their own, right? I'm honest on my channel. I mean, like I said, I paid for the wax. I'm going to be honest about it. So next is Dr. Finkelstein, which is Old Town Bake Shop and Blueberry Muffin. And this is silver glitter with a little spider on the top. And I love Blueberry Bakery. So blended with Old Town Bake Shop is exactly that. It is that true to life blueberry muffin. There's something about blueberry bakery that hits home for me. It's cozy, it's comforting, it's warm, but when you mix it with more bakery and it's the blueberry muffin oil, it just smells like a true, you're taking the paper wrapping off of the muffin and you're taking a bite. The crumbs go everywhere, that little crystallized sugar topping. Oh, it is fabulous. Dr. Finkelstein will totally get a few more scent shots in that. Love. And then as far as shapes go, there's two shapes available in this collection. The first is Deadly Nightshade, which is Blackberry Fizz, and it is a little pumpkin face. A lot of vendors use that pumpkin. And that's exactly it. It's an effervescent, it's fruity, it's bubbly, mixed with the blackberry. It's no blackberry jam butter cookie with fizz. It is truly like a fruity, fruity blackberry fizz cocktail drink. I don't necessarily think it smells like fizzy pop because I don't get any like lime, which I do not enjoy from fizzy pop. It's more of a, it matches my shirt. It's more of a like bright ginger ale type of fizz, which is the fizz I prefer. And then last from the fantasy collection for Nightmare Before Christmas, the mayor. He's in a snack bar. I'm ordering three bars of this. I have to. It is so good. It is apple strudel zucchini bread. Her apple strudel oil. Oh, I'm taking this out. It is fabulous. It is definitely apple bakery. I wouldn't say it's like cinnamon stick cinnamon. It's definitely a more baked cinnamon sugar. And her zucchini bread is so creamy, so delicious that it just... Oh, it hits home. It's so good. Oh, love. Love this one. It's apple bakery mixed with zucchini bread. It is heaven. The mayor. If it's still on the site, definitely pick this one up. Really enjoy that. So that was the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Now let's move on to regular shapes that I ordered that were just on the site. The first one I got is Marnie, which is pumpkin peanut brittle and sugar corn pudding. I'm actually melting a pumpkin peanut brittle from Teddy B's in my living room now, and I really like it. On cold, I did not, but when you warm it up, it really comes alive. And this has that same, don't take this the wrong way, plasticky note that pumpkin peanut brittle oil smells like on warm. But I'm melting it now from another vendor, and it really comes alive, so I have no doubts that this will come alive when I melt it, mixed with the sugar corn pudding. It's really, really nice. I really got that screams fall. I was pumpkin peanut brittle. To me, smells like a Ritz cracker with peanut butter smeared on the top. That's literally what it smells like to me. 
I know some more people think it's more pumpkin-y. I just get like a salty, salty Ritz cracker with peanut butter mixed with sugar corn pudding. It's a winner. Really like that one. And now these four are regular snack bars. Some of these are available in the pre-order. Again, I'll leave her Facebook group down below. Check out the pre-order list. This one is Lemon Sugar Bundt Cake. And from what I've seen on reviews, everybody loves her lemon bakery. And I can see why this is like a nothing bunt cake lemon cake. If you've had lemon, uh, nothing bunt cakes, bunt cakes, you know what I'm talking about. There are those rich, ooey, gooey, cream cheese frosting cakes is exactly what this one smells like. And I cannot go wrong with lemon bakery. I find that if I want to like clean the house of a new scent and just try something new, putting lemon bakery in the warmers just like resets it. It's so good. Next is Cinnamon Glazed Baklava. And baklava is like a Greek dessert. It's like a nutty, uh, like this, phyllo dough. And phyllo dough is interesting because it's a very light dough, but it's so flavorful and buttery and flaky and layery. And you can smell that like lightweight phyllo dough mixed with the cinnamon sugar. Oh, this is gonna be so comforting for fall. Totally, and one snack bar, I can do it my whole entire living room. So I think it's a really great value. And I know on a cold fall night, I'm gonna do cinnamon glazed baklava in my living room. Next is sugared strawberry cookies. A sucker for anything strawberry. I think most people in the vendor wax world love themselves some strawberry. And this definitely leans a little bit more artificial strawberry. I will just say, like I said, I'm honest but it's really good. Like, I don't mind artificial strawberry. I know some people really don't, but it's hard to truly capture a real strawberry. So this does smell like, if you went to like Costco or Sam's and you got like those loft house cookies, but it was strawberry flavored with that like fake delicious icing. Are you team loft house cookies or no? I love them, those soft sugar cookies with the icing. Oh, so yummy. That's exactly what this smells like. Like a loft house strawberry flavored cookie. Really enjoy that one. And then the last for these snack bars is Blackberry Scone. Now this one is more like Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie to me, which you guys know how I feel about Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. But the Blackberry is more forward. It's almost like in the Blackberry Scone, the bakery note is really light, just a few drops of bakery oil in a very fruity Blackberry instead. Also matches my shirt. I love, love this. I love Blackberry Bakery. It just reminds me of comfort, like a pie almost, because fruit pies are so yummy. Oh, so good. I cannot wait to start melting these guys. So those were my snap bars. Now let's move on to my regular orders. So these are things that I actually went on the site and ordered, and then I will end with the grab bags. First thing I picked up were two scent shots in sugar, sugar Cookie Royale and Zucchini Bread. Now this is a core fragrance, so it's always available on her site, which means her core line is offered in the pre-order this time. I'm picking up two chunk bags in this. Audrey did send me these before I ordered these ones myself, and I melted this. It's so good. This is the one I was talking about before. Sugar Cookie Royale is like that bakery, buttery cake dough mixed with zucchini bread. And hers does not lean corn chippy to me. It's that really good, creamy, straight out of the oven zucchini bread. Blended together, magic. I did, I did a scent shot in my bedroom a couple weeks ago. Fire, and I mean fire. So good, two days at least. 24-7, and I do them in my Julianne Home Warmers, which are the adjustable timers on the hottest setting to really get that scent, and it lasted a good long time. Also part of the core collection is cereal and milk. I ordered this because I'm not the biggest fan of cereal scents. It's not that I don't love them, it's just I don't ever reach for them, and I also don't really have a lot in my collection. I just find there's so many other scents I want to try, but I want to try her cereal and milk. Love the look of the scent shot. It has like fruity pebbles in the wax. And uh, yeah, it smells just like a bowl of Fruit Loops. Like the dust at the bottom of the bowl. I feel like in the vendor wax world, everybody knows what cereal milk smells like. 
and that's what it smells like. And on the description, it says lemon, lime, grapefruit, and sugar. And totally, it's those fruity citruses made into a cereal. This is also a core scent available in the pre-order. I'm going to try to get all those um, showed first. Really like that. Lemon Pound Cake. This is the lemon bakery that she is known for, that people go crazy for. And I can see why. Okay, for one, it's yellow with this pink glitter. It is so good. It is like that lemon bakery that I love. No pledge, just a real baked lemon. I almost feel like this smells like lemon curd baked into a cake. Like if you took a delicious cake batter, poured fresh lemon curd and swirled it in there and then baked it in the oven, because the lemon is so juicy. Really like that one. I'm trying to think of which ones are in. Oh, uh, duh, this one's in the pre-order. I ordered three of these. Can you guess what it is? It's another core scent. Pretzel. I love me a pretzel. I love pretzel scents. I have pretzel actually going in my bedroom. So strong. And it smells just like a pretzel. It's pretzel colored with a few little pieces of rock salt. And it's what it smells like. Like a straight up yeasty pretzel. I think people are either team pretzel or not team pretzel because of the yeasty note. But for me, the yeastiness, when you pop it in the warmer, it just comes alive. And you really smell like it's truly like a fresh baked Annie Ann's pretzel. So can't get enough of that. Stocked up on the scent shots and I'm going to order two chunk bags in the pre-order. I just have to. Next, also part of the pre-order in her core line, Dark Roast. Fresh brewed coffee. And this guy just has a few little coffee grounds on the top of a darker brown. And this is it. Like, bitter coffee. I'll be honest, I don't love this one as much as I love Cafe Vienna. I like more of a creamy coffee than a more bitter, dark roasted coffee like this one is. And in her pre-order, I don't think I'm going to order this one. I'm going to order the coffee ice cream. I haven't tried it, but I like more creamy coffee scents. So I'm ordering coffee ice cream in the pre-order versus dark roast. But if you like that more robust dark coffee, give dark roast a try. Next we have Ralph from the Wreck-It Ralph collection. She's a huge Disney fan, as you can tell. So a lot of Disney fragrances. And this is Hot Fudge Brownies. Now, I only ordered one of these. And this is what's nice about a scent shot. I don't always enjoy chocolate bakery but some days you're just like I could really go for something chocolate and I've been burning from Yankee chocolate layer cake you probably won't see it in an empties video for a while because I'm not always in the mood for it but sometimes I'm like you know what I want a really good chocolate scent tonight just like really rich and decadent chocolate so I light it and that's it and then I put it away until I'm craving it again and for this it's nice I can cut a half a scent shot and be like I'm in the mood for something chocolate Put it away, use it again, and I have my chocolate fix. And Andrea said, and she's right, it smells just like brownies right out of the oven. Gooey, rich chocolate brownies. I, like right now, I want some. But I know I'm not always like that, so it's nice to have a little scent shot of something different in your collection. If you do really like rich, decadent chocolate, give that guy a try. Hair of a Werewolf. I was really excited for this. I think this is from... A Harry Potter line. I could be wrong. I don't know. Pumpkin pretzel latte. Okay. It has a little bones for the werewolf. It smells just like it says. A hint of coffee, but a very slight hint. It's very, very creamy. Creamy pretzel. That same pretzel that I love. And the pumpkin does lean more fall vibes, but doesn't lean pumpkin spice. More like pumpkin butter. Oh, this is really yummy. This one might be added to my cart too. I really, li I really, really like this one. So that is pumpkin pretzel latte or hair of a werewolf. Next one I got is Palace Arcade, which is Sour Patch Kids type. Do you like Sour Patch Kids? I do. And I don't like sour things in life, like foods or drinks. Well, sour food. But anyway, like pickled things. I don't like anything like that. But Sour Patch Kids, I can finish a bag of Sour Patch Kids. And I'll never forget. I say I never forget, but I don't remember what movie it was. But I was in a movie theater with my teacher friend. No. 
It wasn't a movie theater. It was an actual theater. I want to say it was Waitress. Maybe here in Pittsburgh. I was with one of my former teachers. She's one of my best friends. We see shows together. And I was like choking on intermission on Sour Patch Kids. And we laughed and laughed and laughed about it for a long time. Unless it was Phantom. I don't remember. I do remember it was a musical now at the Benedum, downtown Pittsburgh. But I do not remember what. Oh, well. Anyway, Sour Patch Kids tight. And this, I don't want to dump it out because there's a lot of goodies on top. It smells just like you open a bag of Sour Patch Kids. It's crazy how these oils that the vendors use truly, truly smell like the actual candy. But they do. Speaking of candy, this is King Candy. And I know this is from Wreck-It Ralph. But look at that. This red holographic glitter. I mean, look at this. The shine. Literal glitter. With little hard circle peppermint candies. I don't love this. This is sugary hard rock candy. And that's what it smells like. You know those rock candies that are like, I mean, they look like a Himalayan rock like lamp. Like they're on a stick. And the wooden stick always has like a random like wooden ball on the end. I don't know why. But yeah, it's definitely like a super sugary candy scent. I will definitely give it a melt and see. I just don't know when I would crave this this sugary of a candy. Where the Sour Patch Kids has that sour note, which is really enjoyable. This one is more like straight up sugary hard candy. But might be fun for like a kid's day. Next, Boyfriend Hoodie. This is also part of the core collection. I am ordering some more of this. This is Bergamot, Tangerine, and Jasmine. And it smells like an aquatic, like an aquatic cologne or body wash, like a really sexy man just came out of the shower. It's so good. And that's, I was saying before, I enjoy more masculine scents in my bedroom lately. So this will definitely go in the masculine cologne, my bedroom rotation. Really enjoy that one. Definitely gives like masculine man vibes. Next is Happy Birthday, also a core line. And it is pink with fun rainbow um, non -preels on the top, and it's vanilla, buttercream, and powdered sugar. I'm also not going to take this one off. And that's what it smells like, a birthday cake. I will say, it's definitely more like artificial cake. I've smelled better cakes, just being honest. I would not necessarily repurchase this on cold. Could be different on warm, but it is more like that like artificial sweet birthday cake. Next, we have The Bad Thing, and this is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and they're little Mickey head candies and a little candy corn. Let's see if I can pop this out. I can see it. Nope. Okay. Um, definitely get Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow is also a Bath & Body Works dupe. I personally don't really enjoy that on its own. It just smells more perfumey body care than it does like a true like vanilla marshmallow but it's really creamy. And it adds that creaminess to the pumpkin pecan waffles. It goes on its own. Some people think pumpkin pecan waffles is a little too cloying. I love it, but blended with the creaminess of the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, perfect for fall. Two more and into the grab bags. We have Mrs. Puff from the SpongeBob collection, and this is citrus, almond, and mixed berries. And she's really full. We got some rainbow glitters and a white Scent shot for Mrs. Puff. I loved SpongeBob. And this is really cool. I pick up on almond. 100% pick up on almond. And berries. So like a berry almond. And it's interesting. I don't really ever order almond scents. Because I'm afraid of the cherry cherry almond. But this is just straight up almond. And I know Andrea loves almond scents. Yeah. It's just like a creamy almond. With berries. Maybe a hint of citrus. It's definitely different. I would never have ordered this, but it was on the site, and I'm like, you know what? Let me try it out. So citrus, almond, and berries is Mrs. Puff. And then last but not least, before I get into the grab bag, is Second Task, which I think this is the Goblet of Fire Harry Potter. Again, don't hold me to that. And this is Salty Sea Air and Fizzy Pop. I love me a Salty Sea Air. Oh, there we go. Pop this guy out. And this is really fun. This is like green glitter with little fish on it. <sighs> really cool. Whatever her fizzy pop oil is, is a fizzy pop I enjoy. I don't always enjoy fizzy pop. But blended with the salty sierra, 
you definitely get mostly Salty Sea Air, which to me, Salty Sea Air is another great reset oil, great bathroom oil, great bedroom oil, or very calming for the office. I think Salty Sea Air, you come out anywhere, anytime, any day. It's just that salty, ocean, aquatic, airy scent. But the Fizzy Pop is like, to me, leaning more towards ginger ale and not super lemon lime fizz, which I do not enjoy. So this is a really, really good one. Whew. Those were all of the scent shots that I ordered. Now onto the grab bags. So I have, like I said, 17 scent shots here, which is in the mix of four grab bags. Now, again, I'm not 100%, they're all flying. I'm not 100% sure which bags were in which. So they are just random. I just opened all the grab bags and like dumped them in one bucket. So I'm just gonna go through them. Don't quote me on which collections they're from. I'll try to remember, but again, don't hold me to them. I binge watched all of Kirsten's Fantasy Wax um, intro videos of her new collections and try to remember. I find that I have a really good memory or like a photographic memory of a lot of things, but I don't know if I'll be able to remember all of them. We'll see. First up, we have Miss Mount Crumpet, which is Frosted Pine Cones. You will notice a lot of these are from Christmas collections, which is great because Christmas is coming up, so I'll have some Christmas fantasy wax to melt. This is a white wax with blue glitter, or and then some little shapes on there. This Frosted Pine Cones reminds me of like a hair salon. Not in a bad way, it just smells like you walked into a hair salon and all these women, or men, are getting their hair shampooed at the same time with like a very high-end shampoo. That's what I think Frosted Pine Cones smells like. I know it might not smell like that with everybody else. That's what I think it smells like. Next we have Home Alone, which is hot cocoa. And this is beautiful. It literally looks like a mug of cocoa. It smells just like the Hot Fudge Brownies from Ralph. Let me see, let me compare, because I have them both here. Yeah, they smell the same. So maybe they're the same, and she just changed the name for a holiday. Not really sure, but Hot Cocoa smells just like um, Ralph's, Ralph, which is like the Hot Fudge Brownies. Next, Sarah Sanderson, which is Pumpkin Cookie Crunch. It's a pink one. This is from Hocus Pocus. This one is really yummy. The pumpkin is definitely more like a rich, deep pumpkin. Where everything else was more like creamy pumpkin. This is a more rich, spiced pumpkin. I really like that one. And the cookie kind of makes it smell really, really like baked, if that makes any sense. So many scent shots, so little time. Next we have Donald Duck, which is kettle corn. And oh, I have lots of sprinkles everywhere. I don't necessarily think it smells exactly like kettle corn. It does smell like popcorn, but not buttered. But I think it's just missing the sugary sweetness that kettle corn does have, where it smells more just like a popped corn, if that makes any sense. It's really yummy though. I like this. I just find that I wish it was a little sweeter, but it definitely will not stop me from melting it and giving it a shot. Next, we have Whoville, which is ginger, nutmeg, vanilla, and cocoa. This one's really cute with all the glitters. And this is interesting. This is definitely more like a spiced cocoa. I don't necessarily pick up hot chocolate or the hot brownies. I pick up more like gingered drink, like a gingery fall drink. Not like a cider, but also not necessarily like a cocoa, like just a warm steamed milk with nutmeg and ginger. It's really pretty. It's definitely, like I said, like a spiced milk fragrance. I really like that. Next we have Mickey Mouse, which is cola. Now, I will say she did recently change her formula to a more um, parasoy blend. So in her grab bags, you might find more soy. So this is, you can tell, 100% soy with all the frosting. And this just smells like straight up Coca-Cola. Look how strong this is going to be, the oil in here. Yep, that smells like straight up Coca-Cola. 
like bubbly, fizzy, syrupy Coke. It's amazing how that can like translate into a scent. Ah, they're falling. Super casual videos. <gasps> my peach. If you watched my trash talk, I was so excited that I got another peach in my grab bag. I love this scent. It's fresh peach and zucchini bread, but there's something about the way that the peach is like so juicy, almost like you squeezed it and the juice is dripping down your chin, mixed with that zucchini bread. If she offers peach again, I know this was from the Mario collection, you have to pick it up. I am gonna save that until she offers it again. Tea and Cakes. This is another oil that I never thought I would really love until I tried it, and I really do. This is one that I always pass up in vendors when I order them, but it is like an almond, like an almond cake with a slightly citrus feel. Really cool, really different. I know now that I smelled regular tea and cakes, I'm going to order more tea and cakes blends. Next, Scoops Ahoy. This is being offered in the pre-order and I'm so happy. It is Summer Scoop and Waffle Cone. And if you know me, I love Summer Scoop. It's one of my favorite strawberry oils because it's like a strawberry milkshake mixed with waffle cone. So you got strawberry milkshake or strawberry ice cream in a waffle cone. Sign me up. I happen to love ice cream. And this is so cute. There's like little red, white, blue popsicles on there. Oh, so good. I'm definitely getting two chunk bags in this in her restock. And I believe Scoops Ahoy is from the Stranger Things collection. If, so I'm like setting these down, if I'm correct. Next is Tiana, which is fried beignets and powdered sugar. And this is from the Princess and the Frog collection. I'm just dusting off any of that like excess glitter on my table. Oh, this is nice. This is, uh, fried beignets is interesting because a beignet is just what? Dough with powdered sugar, right? Fried. There's no like glaze or filling. They do make filled beignets, but a traditional beignet is just like a fried dessert, a fried pastry dessert. And this is so good. It smells just like that light cinnamon sugared beignet. But don't think of cinnamon sugar as, like, red-hot cinnamon. It's a very light cinnamon, heavy sugared beignet. I'm dropping lids all over. Next, we have Miss Argentina, which is cider donut. And if you know me, too, you know I love me an apple cider scent. This is, like, fruity apple cider donuts. Like, truly fruity apple cider donuts. It's really nice. The Mac apple in here is more dominant than the donut versus what an apple cider is. It's an apple forward apple cider donut, which are my favorite type of donut sets. So Miss Argentina is 100% going in this fall. It's delish. Next, I have Max, which is from the Grinch, right? That's the dog. Cinnamon orange zest and cranberry. Oh. Cinnamon, orange zest, and cranberry woods. I love cranberry woods as an oil. I don't love cranberry, or I don't love cinnamon and orange zest. So I don't love this. This definitely leans more craft store vibes. Like red hot cinnamon. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan. So this might go in a de-stash bin, or I might just save it and melt it. In like the holidays because I might be in the mood for it one day in the holidays. I got two of these in Mandrakes which I believe is a Harry Potter and this is orange pound cake and caramel. So I know I just said I don't love orange scents. I don't but if it's an orange bakery like this is delicious. This reminds me of those like orange glazed cinnamon rolls. I don't really tend to eat those or go for those if those are offered like at a bakery. I like more of a traditional cinnamon roll than an orange cinnamon roll, but you can definitely get the citrusy vibe and then that bakeriness. I don't pick up on a ton of caramel. It's more just like orange bakery, but I really enjoy that one. Next we have Tinkerbell, which is fizzy pop. So straight up fizzy pop and Tinkerbell, Peter Pan. And see, this is definitely not the same fizzy pop that every vendor uses. This definitely leans more towards ginger ale because it's not overly lemon-lime, which I love. 
So I'm happy that I got her plain fizzy pop to see what the oil is. And I definitely enjoy that more than just plain fizzy pop. Next, DJ Tanner, which is Rice Krispie Treats and Cotton Candy Frosting. Now, I do remember this is one that I, I sniffed these all really quickly, but I don't remember them all. Cotton Candy Frosting and Rice Krispie Treats, this definitely leans like plasticky to me. And I think it's the Cotton Candy Frosting. I'm not a huge fan of that scent in general, because it is just very, very candy artificial. And I think blended with Rice Krispie Treats, just makes it that way. But we'll still try to melt it. You never know on warm. And then last but not least is Martha May. Who? I assume this is the Grinch. I'm not sure. It looks like the same label. And this is Spiced Cranberries, Red Wax. And let me tell you, yeah, this is 100% like a spiced cranberry. Like walking into a Michael's and the like fruit spiced wreaths are hanging on the wall when you walk in and you're like blown away by it. Definitely a holiday fragrance. I would not order this if it wasn't a holiday because it's very, very, very spiced. Like cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, spiced wreath. So this will go in my holiday basket as well. Whew. I feel like that was so much talking. I have so much glitter and sprinkles and scent shots galore on my table, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Super excited to pop some of these in my warmer this weekend to prepare for the pre-order. I am so excited. Again, I will leave the link down below. Her pre-order is opening today through the 22nd, unless otherwise stated in her Facebook group and Instagram. She will announce, I believe she said 12 hours in advance if she's like getting close to her turnaround time. And I believe she said her turnaround time is going to be 60 days, so two months, which will be perfect for the holidays. So definitely check everything down below. Again, use my code DREW10. It is not sponsored. Neither is this video. Just my opinions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification down below. That way you're alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.